Naruto, 10 times Orochimaru needed Kabuto. The fallen Sanin could not have accomplished nearly as much as he did without the assistance of his most loyal henchmen. Orochimaru and Kabuto were two of the most prominent antagonists at the beginning of the Naruto series. In addition to being the Sound Village's strongest ninja, they laid the groundwork for much of the plot in Shippuden such as Sasuke's fall from grace and the rise of the Edo Tensei army. Through identifying the most significant ways that Kabuto facilitated Orochimaru's machinations, we can better appreciate his worth as a talented and vicious medical ninja. 10. Kabuto helped Orochimaru summon the Manda other monsters. The Manda was a summoned creature that towered above its adversaries and could easily crush the walls of Kanoha. It was one of the beasts that Orochimaru invoked to help him destroy the leaf. Considering the blood reagents necessary to unleash hordes of monsters, he needed Kabuto to assist him in invoking the many serpents that would assail the village. This would prove especially useful to the invading forces since Orochimaru was preoccupied with battling the third Hokage, Hirozen Sarutobi. 9. Kabuto tended to Orochimaru while his body fell apart. After the battle for Kanoha, Orochimaru desperately needed a new body to replace his current one. Not only had its average lifespan of three years run its course. Hiruzen Sarutobi destroyed his arms with the Reaper Death Seal, preventing him from weaving hand signs. During this period, Kabuto proved an invaluable and doting servant. He attended to the fallen Sanin's every need. Postponing his death and helping to manage affairs regarding the countless vassals that they had captured and were preparing to experiment on. Without Yakushi's presence, Orochimaru's small empire would have come crashing down instantly. 8. Kabuto saved Orochimaru from Itachi. When Orochimaru attempted to betray the Akatsuki by attacking Itachi, he quickly realized how unevenly matched he was with his Uchiha adversary. The man placed him in a genjutsu almost immediately, leaving the Sanin paralyzed and at his mercy. Fortunately for Orochimaru, Kabuto leaped into the fray and unleashed dozens of weapons at Itachi. This forced him to leap back, creating a reasonable distance between the Akatsuki member and his target. After Yakushi followed up his attack with a barrage of paper bombs, the battle had ended, but the scientific ninja duo made powerful enemies. 7. Kabuto saved Orochimaru from Shizun. When Orochimaru needed someone to mend his ailing body, his first resource was his former comrade, Lady Tsunade. He tempted her with the resurrection of her loved ones if she consented to aid him. Tsunade's assistant, Shizun, was less inclined to hear the snake ninja's bargain. She unleashed dozens of poison needles at Orochimaru and would have successfully poisoned him if Kabuto did not intervene. This was another instance where Yakushi was directly responsible for saving his master's life, as the Sanin could not have fended off both Kanasehai adversaries simultaneously in his debilitated state. 6. Kabuto attacked Sasori, discovered Yamato. When Yamato posed as Sasori and met Kabuto at Tenchi Bridge, Yakushi began to answer questions regarding Sasuke Uchiha. Orochimaru soon interfered with the meeting. And Yakushi braced himself alongside his Akatsuki comrade for the impending fight. Just as the battle began, Kabuto used his chakra scalpels to obliterate Sasori's puppet shell. Since he'd never actually seen Sasori's true form, he believed that Yamato was who he claimed to be until it was revealed otherwise. Regardless, Kabuto's perceptiveness and treachery prevented vital intel about Sasuke from being leaked. 5. Kabuto put most of the Chunin exam spectators under a genjutsu. When Orochimaru revealed his true identity, there was still the matter of the leaf shinobi to take care of. Hundreds of capable warriors were gathered to spectate the Chunin exams and would not go down easily. As always, the Sanin came prepared. 
Kabuto appeared at the bottom of the stands and cast a genjutsu that put almost the entire audience to sleep. Only a handful of alert crowd members such as Kakashi, Mike Guy, Shikamaru, and Sakura were savvy enough to release themselves from its effects before they could succumb to it. 4. Kabuto helped Orochimaru find an ersatz vessel. After Tsunade refused to heal Orochimaru and fended him off, he was in an even worse condition than before. Increasingly concerned for the fate of his master, Kabuto ordered the slaves he captured to fight each other to the death. Once the dust had settled, he offered the victor's body to the fallen Sanin as an ersatz vessel. Though it wasn't ideal for its lack of Kekiai Genkai. Orochimaru regained the ability to weave hand signs and became a viable threat once again. 3. Kabuto assisted Orochimaru in the battle against Jiraiya Tsunade. Orochimaru was badly outmatched against the combined strength of Jiraiya and Tsunade. Since his arms were ruined, he couldn't fight them with nearly as much efficiency as he did Hiruzen Sarutobi. Once again, Kabuto proved a reliable servant that helped to make the battle more even. By turning Tsunade's fear of blood against her, he was nearly able to strike her down. He would have succeeded if Naruto had not intervened. Despite Uzumaki's heroics, Yakushi was still able to cut him down with chakra scalpels and survive the point-blank impact of a Rasengan. 2. Kabuto spied on Team 7 reported back to Orochimaru. When Kabuto was introduced, he was but a fledging genin alongside the other members of the Kanoha 11. Since he had taken the Chunin exams before, he volunteered to lend his knowledge to Team 7 in exchange for safe passage through the Forest of Death. However, this offer had sinister undertones. Yakushi's actual objective was not to pass the test, but instead to gain invaluable intel about Sasuke Uchiha. After he reported his findings back to Lord Orochimaru, the Sanin was intrigued and came to claim the young shinobi's body for himself. 1. Kabuto was indirectly responsible for resurrecting Orochimaru. After Sasuke defeated Kabuto, he still needed someone capable of casting the Edo Tensei so that he could revive the Hokage of the past and interrogate them about the nature of the leaf. Fortunately, Enko's body was nearby. Since she had the fallen Sanin's curse mark on her neck, he was able to return him to the world of the living and demand his services. In this regard, Kabuto's choice to take Anko as a captive facilitated his master's triumphant return and significantly aided in the allied shinobi forces' efforts against Madara Achiha.